What's up, everybody? It's your boy Trayvon here with Scent Talk TV. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. I really do appreciate the love and the support that you guys give. You guys are awesome as always. Those comments, leave them down in the comment section below of your experiences, concerns, and opinions. I'm open to all that. Thank you so much for the positive energy. And to my subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. I really do appreciate each and every last one of you. Thank you so much. But without further ado, let's jump into this review. So today, my fragrance of the day, I was in a mood for some oud. In a mood for some oud. And I picked one of my favorites out of my oud collection. And it is from the house of Gucci. It is Gucci Guilty Oud. Now, I do have the box to display to you guys. You got the, here's a box, it's all black with gold lettering. Gucci Guilty Oud at the bottom. Eau de Parfum Concentration. And the sizes, it is a 90 milliliter, 3.0 ounce bottle, art code and all that good stuff at the bottom. You got the ingredients at the uh, on the back, and the ingredients and gold lettering. Nothing at the top, nothing on the sides. That's the box. So the bottle, gold cap, all black, Gucci Guilty Oud on both sides of the bottle. You do have the sticker with the size and concentration and the batch code is 8156. And the top has, has Gucci at the top. It is a very, very snug fit. So if you wanna pick it up from like this, you can do so, it's your choice. But that juice, the atomizer as well, is decent. It's really, really decent. Not bad at all. But the juice smells so good. Now, oud is not a note that a lot of people gravitate to but run away from because it might smell dated or animalic or, you know, some say it smells like an old man or an old lady. But you, that note has to grow on, grow on you. And uh, I hated Oud once upon a time, but that only lasts for a good 15 to 20 minutes. And it grew on me within that time frame. And I fell in love with Oud and I just start seeking other Oud fragrances and stuff like that. But the notes in this fragrance is, uh, and the top notes are Bulgarian Rose, Blackberry, and Pink Pepper. Mid notes is Patchouli, forgive me for mispronouncing this, uh, Cypriot oil or Nagarmatha. And the base you got Argarwood, Oud, Leather, and Amber. So, to me, this is a very fruity, rosy, fresh, spicy Oud. It's wonderful, wonderful. In the opening, you get a blast of that, uh, that rose, that masculine rose, as well as the fruitiness behind that with a little bit of that fresh spicy from the pink pepper. Now, when you get into the base, that rose is still there. That fruitiness and the pink pepper kind of fades away a little bit, but that rose is still dominant right there throughout the uh, opening into the mid. In the mid, you get that, you get that sweet, earthy, uh, kind of a, a woody type of edge from the patchouli. And the, um, I say the saporeal, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, the garmatha, that earthiness from there, I really don't get that too much. Um, but I get a, a lot of that patchouli over, the, all, over that note. I get more of that patchouli as well as that that rose note. Um, then you get to like, you know, a couple of hours in and then you get to the base, you get that, that's when you get that oud. Now the oud really does creep in a little bit faster than uh, um, into the mid. It does creep in a little bit more faster. Um, you do get some leather in here and you get that warm, sweet coziness from the amber as well. 
um, that the amber is kind of dialed down a little bit. But what you really are left with is that rosy oud with a little bit of that fruitiness in the background and that leather touch, that leather edgy touch. Not too dominant, but it's there. So with uh, the whole fragrance, you get this fruity, rosy oud and it smells incredible. Now, the longevity is average, you know, it's not a beast. If you want it to be a beast, just spray it like crazy, but that's up to you. I'm gonna overspray it, so I'll go crazy with anything. But with this one, it's not, it's a oud fragrance, so you probably wanna uh, simmer down on your applications with this one because not a lot of people gravitate towards uh, oud. Nor is oud like a, well in my experience, like a highly complimented uh, note or fragrance, like oud fragrances is not highly complimented all the time. So it's not, it doesn't have that big old compliment factor like a uh, like a YSLY Eau de Parfum or something like that. Those, those king complimented fragrances, you're not gonna get those compliments out of this one, at least on me. But who knows? Your skin chemistry might blend well with this and you might uh, get a couple of compliments or two. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I got a solid, like, you know, eh, I'm gonna say five to six hours. Okay, I got a good five to six hours. Uh, the projection was good within the first hour. It's set close to the skin. Within the elbows length are kind of like, um, like right here like around this area it projected that much um it does leave a nice scent trail uh, within that hour but after it sits close to the skin that scent trail kind of like cuts in half i say the scent trail is um it's moderate it's not a beast of a scent trail you know you're not people's not probably going to smell you like a thousand feet away but it has a, mo a moderate uh scent trail um, as well as the, um, the age group, age, this is more of a mature, I'd say like middle age on up, you know, probably like 30 on up. Um, this is a unisex fragrance, so the women can pull this off too. Uh, let's see the seasons. I would say, you know, cooler seasons like fall, winter time. And like early spring, I think this will be a little bit too cloying for the uh, summertime because of that that strong oud note. It does have like a fresh spiciness to this where you could pull it off in the summertime, but I wouldn't pull this off in a high heat. I, I just would I wouldn't do it. I do it like cooler seasons, like uh, fall, winter, cooler days in the summer and the spring. But if you want to wear it anytime, any place, that's up to you. This is good for outdoor events uh i wouldn't wear this to the office I, I don't think i would wear this to the office but you know oud fragrances in my opinion you gotta find like a certain occasion to wear this because this is this doesn't have a lot of versatility it's just kind of the uh this is kind of like an occasional type thing you know um if you want to dress it up and or if you want to dress it down i say like you know errands going to grocery stores or something like that but you know you can wear it to work but make sure you like you know don't overspray with this um just don't do it i think it'd be too loud um it's just, it's just not that um that um highly appealing fragrance to where you get like compliments and good feedback from because the oud like i said oud is like a note that people doesn't gravitate to that much but uh, if you want to do wear it anytime any place that's on you but in my opinion i say like you know you can wear it to work dial it down a little bit uh outdoor events you know where it's like wide open area if you're at a job where you know warehouse you can wear it then uh around that uh people around there where it's wide open you got some space um because when the first couple hours, this is kind of loud. Uh, this is kind of loud and you don't want to offend anybody. So I say dumb the applications down. Uh, well, uh, let's see. My final thoughts on here, on this oud. This is a beautiful oud. It's uh, rosy. 
It is fruity. It does have some maturity with the earthiness. It, um, it's warm. Uh, within in a dry down, it gets a little bit warmer from the amber. That rose still is there, mixed well. It, the rose is still there, mixing good, uh, well with the argar wood of the oud. Mixes very well. Uh, unisex women can pull this off. It's great. I love this scent. Uh, yeah, I um I bought this um at my local discounter shop at the mall, and um I think this is discontinued. I haven't seen it on retail anywhere. I used to see this at retail, like I think like a couple of months ago. Then I didn't see it anymore, so I think it's discontinued. You could probably find it online, Fragrance X, Fragrance Next, so I don't. But uh, yeah, if you see this for a good price, pick it up. I got this for, mm, I think like 90 bucks. It's probably a little bit steep, but it smells like 90 bucks. Oh no, it smells uh, a lot more than 90 bucks. This is a great fragrance. I love it. Um, yeah, that's all I got for Gucci Guilty Oud, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you are interested in Oud fragrances, this is a good one to start with, with as well. Uh, Banana Republic um, Oud Mosaic. You can start off with that one. It's a little bit more affordable. It's way more affordable. It's 20 bucks, find it at Burlington's for a little or nothing. Uh, 20 bucks, can't beat that as a good beginner uh, design, uh, designer Oud. But if you want to take it up a little bit, uh, take it up a notch, and you come across this, pick this bad boy up. It smells pretty good. Probably, if you don't like it, you probably got to let it grow in you a little bit. Give it a chance. And then uh, if you want to try something new, you want to get away from, like, you know, your usual, you want to get into some food, that's a good one to start off with. Gucci Guilty Oud, Eau de Parfum. So that's all I got, ladies and gentlemen, for Gucci Guilty Eau de Parfum Oud or Oud Eau de Parfum. So I'm here, Trayvon here with Scent Talk TV. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I will see you in the next video. Be safe out there, people. I will see you later. Peace. I'm out.